Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this latest Fuel 2 shop tutorial. I appreciate a lot of people around the world are uh, in isolation at the minute and uh, are in quarantine uh, because of everything that's going on with the virus. So while you're doing that, maybe it's a chance uh, to learn a new skill and uh, that new skill that you could be learning is Photoshop. So this, uh, this Photoshop tutorial is a bit of a follow on from the last tutorial that I did, which was your first Photoshop edit, um, do an edit in 15 minutes. Um, and it featured the Arsenal players, so if you've not seen that one, you're brand new to Photoshop, maybe uh, jump back and do that uh, tutorial. And again, if you look further back through my uh, videos, I've done a uh, like a Juventus, Cristiano Ronaldo one. Again, I'll uh, it'll be popping up here, I'll be linking those uh, those two tutorials up here for you to click and have a look at, as they're, uh, as they're very similar. Uh, but again, this one is just based for the... Um, for the beginner to Photoshop, and it's uh, it's quite a simple edit, but again, it's a couple more uh, little techniques. So, while uh, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So, I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N. If you're working on Windows, okay, anytime I say Command, just uh, press Control. So, because it's going to be for Instagram, 1500 by 1500 pixels, as you can see here, width and height, 300 uh, pixels per inch resolution, RGB 8 bit, and a white background. Don't worry too much about that. And uh, you can change the title up here as well, and we'll call that Bruno. And I'm going to click Create. Okay, so now I've got this uh, this background here. Okay, you notice on my uh, color palette over here on the left, okay, I've got this uh, this nice red. Okay, that's 86040 alpha, 86040 alpha. Just type that in. Okay, and I should pick up here and click OK. Now what I'm going to do now is on my keyboard, because it's the uh, four colour, I'm going to hold Alt and Backspace. If I was to hold Command, or if you were on Windows Control and Backspace, okay, it'll do the uh, the rear colour. But for this instance, I'm going to hold Alt and Backspace, and it's going to give me this nice red. Next, I'm going to uh, bring in and drop in uh, Bruno Fernandez. Okay, what I'll do is I'll link him in the description below uh, from footyrenders.com. Now you'll notice you've got the uh, like the constraints toolbox up. Okay, I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt on my keyboard, hover over one of the corners, and you're just gonna grow slowly in proportion. Again, if you're familiar with my tutorials, if you don't hold Shift or Alt, okay, that's when it can start to be skewed. Now I believe on uh, newer versions of Photoshop, I've not updated this version. Okay, um, it's the other way around. So uh, just be conscious of that. So Shift and Alt, and I'm just gonna size him up. To something maybe around there and press enter okay so uh, what I can do as well okay I've got uh, some rulers up on uh, my screen up the uh, up the top here okay and I can uh, bring in some guidelines so I'm just going to hold over hold and in fact wrong I'm just going to select the background layer first okay then I'm going to select my ruler okay and it should lock in there we go. So that's that's the uh, center of my image there. I can also do it from the top. Okay, and it'll lock in there as well. Now, click on Bruno's, Command T, okay, and you can line him up so he's, uh, he's nice and central, but because it's not quite in line with his head, because it's not the center of the image, I'm just going to move him across. Okay, at this point what you can do is as well, press Command H or Control H, and it'll get rid of those blue lines. But if you press them again, they'll, uh, they'll reappear. Okay, uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to drop in these wings. Okay, got these as a PNG file from Divine Divine Art. Um, the website, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, and it's fantastic. You just need to sign up, register with an email, use a fake email, whatever, um, and loads of resources. So what we're going to do is with the wings, okay, we're just going to uh, go down here and create a layer mask. I'm going to click this little symbol, like we did on the previous tutorial. Make sure this uh, little uh, icon box is selected here and it'll be black and white. Now press B on my brush tool over here on the tools, you'll see it. I'm going to right click and make sure I've got a soft brush and I'm just going to bring the size down. Now you can use your bracket keys on your keyboard to make them uh, bigger and smaller and make sure my flow is up and my opacity at the top. Okay, and I'm just going to paint away the ones that I don't require. In fact, I'm going to use a hard brush. There we go. I'm just going to paint those ones away. Okay, it's up to you which uh, set of wings you'd like to choose. There we go. Press V for the move tool. 
Now, place my wings around there. Now, if you notice, at the minute, the wings are on top. And if you look over on the layers palette, okay, that's because they're on top of Fernando. If Fernando, sorry, if I just drop them below, okay, they're now underneath. And I'm just going to line them up there. Now, if you want another set of wings, what I'm going to do is, you can either drag and drop down onto the new layer icon there, or you can press Command-J, and it copies it. Uh, and paste it as well. Now, what I would recommend is while you're uh, learning Photoshop, you're going through uh, different tutorials, okay? Don't worry too much about what each individual tool does. Just learn the process of different tutorials uh, and the tools will become natural. And as you do that, learn the sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to press Command T. So I'm uh, highlighting the top, top layer of the wings. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip them horizontally. And I'm just going to drag them across and something like that. And um, we've got Bruno Fernandez there. So it's looking good. Next one, I'm gonna click on the, the layer for Bruno up here. I'm gonna to come to the adjustment layer. Okay, I'm gonna turn in black and white. Now if you notice, it's done the whole image. It's not a problem. We can click this little icon here for a, create a clipping mask. And you'll notice now, it's only affecting the layer directly underneath. Again, you can hold Alt on your keyboard and hover between the layers and you'll see this symbol. And that'll toggle between a clipping mask uh, on and off. Now, make sure you've got the little palette there highlighted. And all I want really is his skin tone to be black and white. I want to highlight the shirt. So, nice hard brush, 100% brush, opacity, 100% flow. I've got black in my palette. Okay, and all we're simply going to do is we're just going to paint away. Um, the black and white. Now, not too bothered about his shorts. So I'm just going to paint away and highlight the red there. As you can see, I've messed it up. Keep flicking between X to change my palette over. And it's just refining the details just there. So I'll speed this up and I'll get back to you. Okay, there we go. Um, looking fantastic. Uh, what I've got to mention is, uh, okay, shortcuts. Okay, if you want to uh, go back over and do what you want, press X, okay. Obviously black uh, masks it and X. Um, gets rid of uh, the mask as well. Uh, well, vice versa, it does the opposite. <laughs> anyway, press Command-0, okay, and it resizes it. Next, okay, click on uh, Bruno Fernandez layer, go back to the adjustment layers, and we're going to add a curves adjustment layer. Clipping mask is selected down here. Okay, I'm going to click roughly around the center. Okay, and I'm just going to drop it down a fraction. Okay, what's known as like a classic S curve. Just raise the uh, highlights up a little bit, drop the whites, and again, just drop that curve there, and you can see the small effect. I'm just uh, adding to the shadow. Nothing, uh, nothing too drastic. Again, there's um, there's lots of tutorials on the curves adjustment layer. It's uh, it's worth playing around with. You can get some real uh, nice cool effects from it. So just to reiterate what we've done. Then we've got our background, we've selected our color, we've. Uh, added in Bruno, we've added the wings, okay, we've masked around the wings we didn't want, we've added the black and white adjustment layer, again, we've painted um, away, we've masked the black and white that we didn't want, and we've added a curves layer. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background layer, and I'm going to add a texture, I'm going to drop that on there, okay, and I'm just going to resize it, so I'm going to hold shift and alt, just so it grows. And if I press Command-0, okay, you can see it's quite big there. Now, it's got rid of our red. It's not very nice. Um, but it's not the desired effect. So we're going to go to this um, blending mode. All right, I'm going to select screen. All right, no, I'm not going to select overlay. There we go. So these adjustment um, blending options, okay, it's just the way the pixels react with the pixels underneath uh, that layer in layman's terms. I'm going to drop that opacity right down to 17 
see what I did on the other one. Oh, I changed the fill. Yeah, so we'll drop the fill down to 20. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so we're, we've added the texture now to our background. What we're going to do is we're now going to drop in the Manchester United logo. Shift and Alt. Grow a little bit smaller now. I'm just going to push it off the screen a little bit. Oh, looking, it's looking good. Now it's underneath the wings, but it's uh, still quite visible. So I'm going to drop that passy down, just so you can barely see it. Again, let's go uh, back to our previous image. What do we use for Manchester United logo? We use fill again. We've gone all the way down to seven. So when you use fill, it's more like um, you're still keeping the details there. Um, just increase it up to 10. That's nice. What we can do as well, we can add a um, layer mask. So again, with layer mask, we're not deleting the pixels. Hit and B on my brush tool. I'm right clicking, I'm selecting the soft brush. Use my bracket keys to grow it. Okay, I'm going to drop the flow down now to around 20. Okay, I'm just going to paint away a little bit. Maybe maybe 20 is a bit too much. Maybe 5. Just so those wings step out a little bit more. Yeah, that's, that's looking okay. Uh, just to help the wings stand out a little bit. We can also add the uh, Devil Trident as well. Again, this will be linked in below. And I'd like him... Be somewhere around there, coming out of the back of his head, obviously, Manchester United, the Red Devils. And I'm going to screen this one. Let's double check. The pitchfork screen. Yeah, and reduce the opacity on this one. To around 15. Hit V, okay, you can use your keys just to affect it. Now it may be popping up just down there, so again I'm going to add a layer mask. Hit B on my brush tool, 100% just for the bottom bit, so it's not sticking out. Okay, and then the flow right down. I'm just going to paint away, let's have a look and compare. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. Press V, Command T, okay, and I might just like to make those pitchforks a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm just going to have them coming out the top of his head. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so we've got the pitchforks in there. Now we need to add some uh, shadow around the base of his boots. So I'm going to select the wings layer, which is the layer directly underneath Bruno. I'm going to select a new layer. Um, so we've got we're going to paint on the layer underneath Bruno now. Okay, you click this little icon down here just to create a new layer. I'm going to press D, and what this does is reset my palette, so I've got black. Hit B for my brush tool. Soft brush by right clicking or double clicking if you're on a Mac. Okay, I'm just going to change the shape of it, something like that. And I'm going to zoom in. Now I've got the flow at 5% just there. Okay, what you can do is just tap away to your heart's content. Okay, keep changing the size. Again, I want it really dark in the center. Just paint it on there. Okay, we're just uh, just exaggerating that shadow. What I can also do is, so I'm going to call that shadow. Select, on, select the layer Bruno. Hit a new layer, so it's clipping masks. It's already in place. Okay, hit the brush tool. Right click. Okay, just want a round brush. Okay, nice and small, nice and soft. Flow. Again, I'm going to drop that to 1%. I'm just going to paint on some shadow just there, just to help blend in his foot a little bit more. Okay, for whatever player you use, it might not be a straight line just there. There may be no requirement for a shadow. And Again, just paint up. And then maybe paint a little bit on his boot as well. And up his leg. Command zero, and then 
take it away, see the effect that we've added. Just a little bit more shadow. So that's looking good. So now what we're simply going to do is add some text. Now I want it below the texture, so I'm going to select the background layer. Okay, just get rid of that look. I'm going to hit T for the text tool. Okay, I'm using Babas New. Um, Defont.com, I'll link uh, Defont.com in the description below. Real good source for, uh, for fonts. I'm going to type out Manchester United. And I'm going to hit my uh, move tool there. Okay, I'm going to press Command T. And what I can do is I can click, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. There we go, got it right in the end. Okay, now remember the, uh, the lines we did at the beginning, press Command H. Okay, you can bring them back up. Select your Manchester United layer, press Command T. Okay, and you can line them up. Just nice. I'm going to apply that there. Now I'm going to hit T for my um, text tool again. I'm going to hover over the layer. So um, I can now type away on this layer. I'm going to hold Command A to highlight it all. Notice uh, just my settings up here. I've got it on smooth and it's central. That's why I'm doing it. Now with the size of a hover over the little big and tall T, okay, you can just slide, hold it down and slide it. And I'm going to go for something like that. So 50, basically. Go to my Move tool, slide it across. Now it's depending on you, um, what density you'd like it at. Okay, I'm just gonna drop that fill right down. So just the Manchester United, something around uh, 25%. Yeah, really like that, okay. And you can do the same again with Bruno Fernandes. Just uh, type him down there, but for the sake of the tutorial, okay, I'm going to move on. So now it's uh, pretty much our image complete. Now I'm going to set the top layer. I'm going to do what's called a stamp visible. So I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E because I'm on a Mac, uh, or Control Shift Alt and E if you're on a Windows. Command Shift Alt and E, okay, and it gives us uh, this image uh, like a stamp visible, like basically just the whole layer in, in one layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it, Command J, and then I'm going to hide it. So now this bottom layer underneath, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and giving it 9 pixel blur. Preview should be on there. I'm going to hit OK. Highlight this top layer so it's still there. Select it, press Command T. Shift and Alt, hover over the corner and just drag it in and press Enter. Now you can see we've uh, downsized it a little bit and the background is uh, blurry. Now we're going to add a drop shadow, so I'm just going to click in this layer here and bring up my layer style. I'm going to go down, select drop shadow and the settings I've used have got black, normal. Opacity is 50%, the angle is 90, so it's nice round um, border. Distance 0, spread 10. Size is 58. Okay, it may be a little bit different on, um, on your system. Okay, just have a little play. Click away the preview. You see the difference it's making there. Hit OK. And there we have, press Command 0, Command H, get rid of those lines. Our, our edit ready for Instagram. So, again, hope you learned a few tips and tricks. There's plenty of ways, different uh, ways and styles of uh, working on Photoshop. This is... Uh, just one style of how I like to uh, operate. So if you enjoyed it, please uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you've not yet subscribed, please hit subscribe. And uh, any comments, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'm in quarantine. I'm in lockdown. I've got my phone on me. I can answer them for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.